What up, YouTube? Patrick here. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of questions about Bitcoin's Lightning Network versus Nano. So let's compare. Here I am at Google. I search for Nano Wallet. Grab this first result. I want the desktop wallet because I'm on desktop. And here you are at the Nano Wallet Company official wallet. Um, I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm just going to launch it. But it's a regular download and install process. And this is a full wallet, like a Bitcoin full wallet. So it has to sync and pull down the ledger. But so assuming you did the initial sync, it's time to create your first wallet. We create a new wallet, create wallet. And then here's your seed. You copy this because this is your funds. This is the master key. Pretend I saved this off somewhere, but I'm just creating a burner wallet. So I don't care. Create your local password, whatever, whatever. And here you go. You've got your first nano address. You're ready to receive funds. You can see in the top left that it's connecting to peers. It's syncing. This is a full node. Again, you can run a light, light wallet if you want. You don't have to do this yourself. You don't have to wait for the sync, just like Bitcoin. But uh, we will take this address, and I'm going to paste it into some code here. Let me bring this over. Because I run a full node, a free faucet, over here in Germany... I'll put the link to this in the description eventually. There's a web UI, so you can access it just in your browser. So here we go. We send this to this address. And let's wait. Boom. There you go. Fully settled, fully confirmed. We have the transaction. We could actually send it back if we want. Let's see. Where's the address I'm sending it to? Here we go. Send max. Broadcasting send, boom, done. So that's Nano, that's, that's all you need. You send money back and forth, boom, simple, easy. Okay, so now let's compare all that to Bitcoin's Lightning Network. I'm gonna pick this tutorial here because I've seen it once before and it's really good, BB2K16. I'll put the link in the description because it is, it is on point, very helpful. Now, let's take a look at what is required to set up a Bitcoin Lightning Network node and then to use that Lightning Network node to pay somebody. I'm actually going to skip through most of the setup because I'm going to assume that wallets in the future will hopefully do most of this for users. Here's the standard setup for every node. Okay, they're running Bitcoin. They're syncing. They're doing some manual configuration here. That's a little messy, but it probably won't have to be done in the future. Um... He's getting Eclair, the actual Lightning Node software in this case. He's getting that set up. Uh, let's see, we're getting close here. He's configuring Eclair, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now let's assume we have our Lightning Network node set up. We've done all this. The wallet did it for, for us. There might still be some work involved in the future, but hopefully not. Anyways, okay, we're ready to go. How do we make a payment to Starbucks, for example? So this is where you would open up your channel to Starbucks or more likely it's gonna be a Coinbase or some exchange that has a lot of channels so that they can route payments for you and they'll charge you fees, of course. Nano has no fees. So now you paste in the target node URI, whoever you're gonna make the connection with, which by the way, you need to trust because if they break the channel early, your funds are locked up for the duration that you chose. I think 24 hours might be default. Maybe you could set it for a few minutes, but 24 hours, weeks, whatever that time is. So be careful about who you choose to open channels with. But you put that in there. Then you choose how much money you want to lock up in this channel. So in this case, I think he's going to do 0 0.004 BTC in the channel. And keep in mind that once you lock up funds in here, it's it's stuck in this channel until you close the channel. So you can't use you can't use that same BTC to make first layer payments to someone else. It's locked up. And another point, you and the end node need to be online at all times. If you're not, you can lose funds. The seed is not enough to recover the money in this channel because the payments are stateful is what it's called. You could, There's a good tweet here from a Lightning Network supporter that explains this, that you need to back up your funds because the key is not enough. Here's a Stack Exchange article that also explains the same thing. Funds are stateful. You need backups. But anyways, now you choose your fee because remember, you have to pay the first layer, the regular Bitcoin, to open up the channel in the first place and then to close it at the end when you're done with whatever you decide to do. If you choose a too low fee, then you have to wait 
for the miners to put your fee in the in the block and get confirmed. If you pay a high enough fee, then you can get into the next block, which is usually around 10 minutes right now. But of course, that depends on load. Yep, you see here it's nine minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Yep, whatever you wanna pay. Hopefully a wallet will tell you what a good fee is to, to give you a decent time. Then you connect and you wait. You wait for the first layer to accept your channel opening. So 10 minutes if you're paying a high enough fee, and that's only for one confirmation. Remember that you probably want multiple confirmations to be safe in Bitcoin, like most exchanges do. They wait for multiple confirmations. But anyways, skip forward to when the channel is actually opened. All right, looks like they actually locked up the funds. It was deducted. Okay, now he's got channels. He's got a bunch of channels. So pretend this is Starbucks. Pretend this is Coinbase. Pretend this is whoever you want to make payments for. Now you can go back and forth. But remember, you both need to be online. Otherwise, if one end dies or disappears and you have to force close the channel, then you have to wait 24 hours or whatever that delay is to get your funds back. So as you can see, this is a pretty involved process. Imagine your grandma or grandpa trying to do this to pay someone. One, it doesn't make sense if you're going to try to pay your friend to set up a channel to just pay your friend because you both need to be online. You have to pay the opening fee. You have to pay the closing fee. So this really only helps when you're doing multiple payments like you to Starbucks every day, then you open up your channel. But why go through all this when Nano does it all on the first layer? Of course, you can have watchtowers that watch your channel for you to make sure that your funds are safe. You don't lose funds or no scams or anything goes on because that can happen. But you have to pay a fee for a watchtower. That's another fee. Bit Nano does all of this first layer, straightforward, simple, with no fees, zero fees. Here's another good example. This one is a guy paying um, with his mobile wallet. So at this point, he has scanned the node URI of the vendor he's going to pay with. He's putting how much money he wants to lock up in here. Uh, is that at the top? Oh, he's about to do that right now. And then you can see that he needs the fees to open and close the channel. And fast, look, fast is 20 minutes. Fast is 20 minutes. And you're paying five sats per pi. That's actually not bad, but still imagine if Bitcoin first layer is really crowded and you have to pay more. I will say that this is a useful innovation on top of Bitcoin. It will make fees overall cheaper because some people can do repeated transactions through here. It's a good development, but it's a second layer solution that is overly complex. Why do this? Use Nano. Remember we had a simple Nano wallet. You send back and forth. The only thing you need to keep track of is your seed. That's it. That's already a lot for people to keep track of, but that's it. And boom, you're done. So this is why I don't see Bitcoin's Lightning Network as a serious competitor for Nano, at least not without a lot of user experience overhauls to abstract all this away. It needs to be, I guess you could have Coinbase do most of this for you and then they can route tra transactions for you, but then you're paying a fee to, bit to Coinbase. You're relying on the routing, which isn't even completely worked out. That That's my two cents, my two Satoshis, or my two Nano, my two Collins. What? <laughs> Who cares? I don't know. All right, guys. Anyways, that's all I got for you. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Peace.